Just like essays or documentaries, some video games make arguments. You may be wondering how a video game can be persuasive. Ian Bogost, a game designer and theorist, argues that persuasive games have procedural rhetoric. Game designers create immersive worlds in which rules and procedures are defined. The game designers choose what players can or cannot click on or interact with. They choose the various endings to a game, they choose a the difficulty, they choose how to represent complex systems. When you, the player, interact with these systems, those arguments become apparent. For example, in the role-playing video game Undertale by Toby Fox, the player learns through the various rules and mechanics of the game that they don't need to kill the monsters. You can spare their lives or even befriend them, and the story and dialogue change based on the choices you make. Your interaction with the monsters can persuade you that empathy is a better choice than violence. If you're a game designer, how can you make arguments in games? Well, first think about the point you want to make. What are you arguing for? Next, think about how the mechanics of your game help you to make that point. For example, in this rotating platformer template from Construct 3, the player is literally spiraling down. You can use this scene as a consequence if a player takes bad actions or makes bad decisions. In the pin rope or chain style mechanic, you can have the player form a line of followers that perhaps makes an argument about leadership. You can also make your point or argument by not allowing the player to win. Think of a traditional Tetris style game, but instead of bricks you have obligations and chores that are represented. If you want to make the player feel overwhelmed, you can speed up the objects falling as well as increase the number of objects falling. As game designers, you can create simple arcade style games like this one that relaxes gamers, but what if you could persuade players to understand your argument? Here I take the same idea as the game presented by Red Fox and created a prototype called Jagged Thoughts. I'm thinking of making an argument about negative thoughts and the consequences of letting them take over us. This is just a brainstorm, so it's not polished by any means, but you can see I replaced the bubbles with thought bubbles and bound the thoughts to the layout so they don't escape. The player needs to click on the jagged thoughts to get rid of them so the lady can continue meditating or sleeping. With this crude example, I want you to think about how you can elevate your game design so it's not only fun to play, but it's also meaningful and persuasive. Good luck!